Good afternoon, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll here. So I'm going to be doing stuff that I've never done before here in Apopka. And the first stop we're going to go to is called Calypso's Coffee. It's here on Rock Springs Road right next to a China Walk. So in case you guys are wondering where in Apopka is located, because I didn't even know this was here until Ryan told me about it. So we're going to go try their coffee, and I'll show you what it's like when we get inside. I didn't realize it, but Ryan was pointing this out that on the table we're sitting they have coffee beans right here where the sugar is and there's a little cool photo op it gives me like little mermaid vibes and this is where you pay right behind me and they also have pastries in the back if you're interested in purchasing so right here also you can get uh, coffee bean bags um, another thing I wanted to show you guys is the menu so the left is especially drinks the right is espressos and some of the teas that you can get Okay, the coffees have arrived and Ryan had got the Apollo Sun, which is orange with honey latte and garnished with orange. I had got the uh, Celine's Moon Milk. This doesn't have caffeine, but it has cherry syrup, choice of milk, um, cinnamon garnished with rose petals. And it looks so pretty. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. So let's try it out and see how it is. All right, guys. So we just left McDonald's. You know what's interesting? The McDonald's is upside down. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It's like a W instead of an M. <laughs> But anyways, I want to try this hack because I saw it on TikTok. So I went to McDonald's to get a large sweet tea. You know the prices went up, guys. It used to be a dollar six. Now it's like two thirty nine plus tax now. But anyways, you get a large sweet tea from McDonald's, and then you grab a couple of these creamers, and then we're gonna go to a boba shop and get see if I can get the tapioca balls alone, and then mix it with this with the creamer. So see if I can make my own bubble tea. Um, on a budget so let's go guys so we're going to this place that i found off google maps it's called young bum boba bus i think i don't remember how to say it. it's a weird name but it's in the same plaza next to the next spot we're gonna go to which is three odd guys brewery so let's see if this works i hope they'll allow me to buy just the tapioca ball so let's go into young bum <laughs> Okay, so the boba place is actually inside of a furniture store, which I didn't know. So, like, look, they have, like, golf star for bicycle. Um, let's see what else. Let's just scroll through it really quickly. You see mattresses, dressers, mirrors, chairs. Um, basically, whatever you would need inside the house, they have it here. So, let's see what they have in the very, very back. Um, some more old antique stuff. Let's see. But um, anyways, so we're going to walk back to the front of the store because the boba place is in a little bus, like at the very, very front of the store. So we're going to go check out the boba thing now. So it's literally right here. This is where you would go to purchase a bubble tea. They also have these little postcards that say um, yum, yum, bum. And you're able to take some home. And then this is the kiosk machine that you would use to order. You can enter your phone number to get rewards. And those are their hours. It only, only open about two days a week, Fridays and Saturdays. All right, so here you can choose whatever you like. So these are the prices for the bobas. And you also can get smoothies, um, slushies, cold tea, snack cups, and yeah so we're gonna go and tour inside the little bus because the owner of the shop um is saying that we can go check it out okay so we're gonna get go inside it's a really small spot is um he says maybe one day he'll put be able to put an engine and take it out on the road for right now it's just inside this furniture store but showing off what you can see in the view from up here because he says it's elevated there is he making the fresh boba inside right now so let's get it. All right, guys, so we're going to go pour the tapioca balls in the sweet tea. But before you can do that, you do have to drink some of it first because if not, it's just going to overflow and spill all over the place. And you want to take big sips. Don't take little sips like I did because you're not going to have room. As you can see, look, I'm just only pouring the, the boba balls and it's still pretty full. So Ryan's going to actually help me drink some of it right now because he's like, look, it's still all the way top. It's way too much. You need to drink more of a tea out. So there you go. He helped me sip some of it out. Now it makes it more room so I can add the creamers. So you can add as many creamers as you like. Um, I chose to get four of these creamers. 
and then now we're going to mix them up and then do a taste test. You see how it is? I'm making a little mess here, but it's okay. Mmm. Wow, it's not that bad. It's a little super sweet, but it actually tastes good. Not bad. So, <clears throat> for the price, it was a good um, deal. Um, so 10 out of 10 for that. But then for like maybe the taste, maybe 7 out of 10. It's like extremely sweet. Maybe I shouldn't have got the sweet tea. Maybe I should have got that one sweet because the sweet tea mixed with the creamer. Plus the bobo made it extra, extra sweet. But um, I just wanted to try to see how it was. But now we are hanging out at Three Odd Guys. But the thing is they have a sign on the door that said you cannot bring outside drinks. So I'm trying to like consume this as fast as I can so we can go inside and have some beers. Okay, so for the um, bear flat, we had got the Naughty Beach, and then we got an IPA, two pineapple ciders, and then a woodchuck blueberry cider, which is the very last one. So we're going to do a taste test and see how all these are. Okay, so Ryan had ordered the biggest pretzel, which is called the Bavarian pretzel, with bear cheese. Um, it's so huge, it has to be hanged on the rack, but we're going to dig in and eat this as one of our snacks today. So the last thing we are going to be sharing is the leaf eater pizza. It comes with olives and green peppers. Um, it's basically kind of like a vegetarian pizza because there's no meat on it. But this is a recommendation by his sister. She said this is the best pizza to get here. So we're going to share this and that will be it for today because I'm starting to already get Having food. beers and food at Three Odd Guys and it was really good. That pizza was really delicious and the, the, the beer, the pineapple side I had was my favorite out of all five. Um, he, Ryan loves that one the most too. But now we're gonna do something I've never done before, which is you see this big red bus behind me? We're gonna go donate blood. Because if you donate blood, you do get a gift card and a free pint of beer. So, okay, so we just finished donating blood and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Like it hurt like when she first poked the needle in my arm and then after that, you, it, it felt fine. And then at the very end, um, I'm gonna show you all the cool stuff we got. So they gave you a pint for pint, which is a free beer right across the street at the Three Odd Brewery place. And then um, you get an online e-gift card, but you have to sign up for the account there. And then three days later, you don't want to do the same thing I did. So I signed up for the account today and I'm like, why isn't the code not working? And she was like, you gotta wait three days. So don't be alarmed when you can't access the car right away um and the, make sure you guys save the paperwork because you will need the number under the barcode to access the account to get the gift card and it'll give you all the information because i'm really curious to know what kind of blood type i am i really don't know what it is but she says once you'll be able to see it in a couple days you'll be able to view all that information and then i got a really cool saint patty's uh t-shirt um so it's green and it looks really cool um and then at the very end, when we were walking out, we grabbed some cookies. So I got a oatmeal raisin cookie. So that was cool. Um, yeah, and it was convenient because it was like right, literally right across the street from the Three Odd Guys Brewery here in Apopka. Um, this wasn't really planned for a day, but it just like, it was just something random. And I was like, why not? Why not do it? I've never done it before and it was cool. Because not only you're saving lives, but then also you get a lot of cool freebies at the end. Now, we're going to make one last stop of the day, which we're going to go to my favorite um, store where I like to get like shower gels and lotions, which is Bath and Body Works. And that will be it for Saturday. I know it was kind of random like all over the place. But I've gotten to do a lot of stuff that I've never done before. And thanks to my friend Ryan, because if it wasn't for him, I would have never known about most of these places because it's like cool, it's locally and it's close by to where we live. So, <clears throat> all right, so last stop of the day, we're going to be going to Bath and Body Works. They had a Bath and Body Works store by itself right next to the regular Walmart Altamont. So we're gonna check out and see what they have. Usually I would go to the one in the mall, but this is the closest location. Okay guys, so I decided to get um, a lotion 
So the scent I got today was the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I've never had this scent before, but it smelled pretty good. So, um, yeah. <laughs> now, um, we're actually, I know I said earlier we were, that was going to be our last stop of the day. But Ryan wants to get his sister's, her favorite ice cream flavor, which is from Culver's. Because I guess they change what, every week or every day? Or every day. So yeah, he was telling me every day the flavor is that's different. that's her favorite. And he said that's her favorite ice cream, which is like the coffee toffee, I guess. I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. <laughs> I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, so this is the ice cream Ryan got for his sister because she wanted a scoop of the coffee toffee um, from Culver's. Hopefully it makes it to my house so it can stay in the freezer and stay cold for a while. But yeah, like I said, their flavors changes every single day. So you guys might not see this the next time you go back to Culver's. All right, guys, so just got back home and it was a fun, like, random outing day doing stuff that I've never done. Started off with getting coffee at Calypso and even though I didn't have caffeine in my drink that Celine's Moon Milk was really tasty and then went over to go to McDonald's to get a large tea because I wanted to try making my own bubble tea but I have to be on a budget so tried that and went to a local bubble tea place close by and just ordered um, the tapioca balls and mix that with the cream it was just like I said it was just really sweet but it was cool because it was right next to the three odd guys brewery where we had bear flight and that pineapple cider was still my favorite and then we shared a large pretzel and the leaf tree uh, pizza which was really good it was delicious then after that we headed over Bath and Body Works got some lotion and then last stop was Culver's because his sister wanted her favorite flavor ice cream so overall, I had a fantastic day. Um, if you enjoyed this day with us, give me a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next adventure. Bye.